Okay, this is all you're going to need for the crab pie. You're going to need a half an onion and a half a bell pepper. Um, I did a little bit more because I like onions and bell pepper. You can put it in the grind and grind it up. You can chop it up however fine you like it. Um, you're going to need two cups of flour. You're going to need two pie shells. You're going to need an eight-ounce pack of Swiss. You're going to need an eight-ounce pack of cheddar. Sharp cheddar, excuse me, and you're gonna need one cup of milk, you're gonna need four eggs, and you're gonna need one cup of man eggs, and you're also gonna need one can of crab meat. Um, some people do lump meat, I do the claw meat because I like the salt taste in it, but you could do whatever you choose, whatever you like, it doesn't matter. Okay, um, I'm not good at this, so bear with me. Okay, I'm getting ready to mix everything. Give me a second. It should be in a second. Okay, um, these are the two pie crust shells. You put them inside the oven, and you bake them for probably about five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead on and put them in the oven, and then I'm going to mix up the stuff. I'm going to show you how to mix up the stuff. But I got two deep dish pie crust um any kind like i say any brand it doesn't matter um your choice i just got a regular Kroger's brand they deep um deep dish pan make sure they deep this so because it can hold it more better so i'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven i'm gonna bake these for about five minutes and then i'm gonna come back and show you um how to mix up the stuff okay i'm back you're gonna add the mayonnaise the one cup of mayonnaise, you're going to add the two tablespoons of flour, and you're going to add the cup of milk, and you're going to add the eggs. You're going to mix all of these together. Not the crab meat. I know you see the crab meat, but not the crab meat. The crab meat is the last thing you're going to put in. You're going to do all the wet ingredients first. Okay. We're going to go in with... Um, I'm gonna go in with the mayonnaise first. This is the mayonnaise. I'm gonna put that in a bowl. Put it all in a bowl. Make sure you get all of it out. Then we're gonna go in with your one cup of milk. Your one cup of milk. Okay. Then you're gonna go in with your four eggs. And then last, you're going to go in with your two tablespoons of flour. Okay. And you're going to whisk all this together. Let me move this out of the way. Just whip it all together until it's all combined. All good. Now, it doesn't call for salt and pepper and stuff like that, but of course, me, um, I like a little flavor going on, and it's a crab pie, so I feel like I'm going to put a, um, maybe a tad bit of Obey, a little salt and pepper, your choice if you want to do that, but that's the way I do mine. So I'm about to get the Obey and the salt and pepper. Okay, I'm back. I have the my Obey seasoning because it's crab, it's seafood. So I like the season. You can put how much you want to your liking. Um, my black pepper. And my sea salt. I like sea salt because it's more healthier. So this is the sea salt that I, you know, you can use whatever salt you want. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit because your meat already, the claw meat already salty, you know. So, but I just do that to get a little flavor. I'm, I'm a little extra. I know mama told you. <laughs> 
But um, yeah. So you mix all that until it's well combined all together. Okay, once you mix all of that to as well combined, let me clean up some of this stuff. Got me a big spoon here because I'm going to need it to mix up everything. Um, okay, now once we mix all the wet ingredients, I'm going to go in with the... Uh, I'm going to do bell peppers. I like bell peppers. Actually, you could just go in with all the remainings of the ingredients, but I'm, I'm going to do bell peppers first. I'm going to do the bell peppers, get that going in there, and give it a quick little stir again, so everything is all combined, all together. It's very simple and very easy, all together. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my Swiss. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the whole bag because it's called for an eight ounce bag. Just pour the whole bag. I'm gonna go back and behind that with the shark. Just gonna go pour the whole bag. And then I'm gonna just give it a quick little stir. Before you put your crab meat in it, because you don't wanna um Stir up your crab meat too much because you don't want to shred it up. You want it kind of lumpy. But if it's shredded, it don't matter because it's still going to taste good. However, ain't no pressure with, you know, how you stir it in there. Okay, the last and final ingredients is the crab meat. I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to add this a little bit at a time. Well, actually, I'm just going to go ahead on and pour it all in there. So, and then I'm going to take it and just kind of like turn it you know like you just flipping that flipping um stirring up some grits or something you just you just gonna go in and just flip it you know kind of like brush it out a little bit you know enough where you just don't tear it all up but like i say either way you you put it in there it's still gonna come out good so it don't matter and this recipe is the maryland um crab pie and it's online, it's real simple, it's real easy, you know, and it's real delicious. So when you try it, you're going to like it. So, um, I'm waiting for the, um, the pie to kind of bulge up a little bit for about five minutes. That's all you need. That's it. So, as you can see, I'm about to show you how everything looks right here okay see how it looks real simple and real easy see how it looks it's thick got your cheese your butter and all your other ingredients you know see and this bowl here makes two this recipe I gave you Makes two deep pan, um, two deep pie crust. So, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Girl, you might got me trying to do me a little video. I might have to be doing me a video now. <laughs> uh, 